Hi guys, Asmo here and this is just a quick video to show you guys how you can find bosses in the Scourge Nightmare uh, realm. Basically, whenever there is a boss in your map, you will see a visual indicator. So one of the bosses has like yellow lightning bolts and one of them has like purple balloon volatile things so basically when you enter the scourge realm you'll see like when i enter there will be like a yellow uh, lightning type of stuff and uh, you can see it sometimes uh, let me see if we can notice this there there was one there is another one there is another one so when that happens you basically have to shift in and out to find the boss right because you don't want to like waste your entire scourge juice on just trying to clear the monsters rather you would go to look for the boss right so what you do is basically you get a little bit of juice and then you just shift in and then just look for it right look for it look for it look on the minimap look on the minimap and if there is no icon you remember where you went and you just don't go to the same uh, place right you basically go somewhere else we'll go this direction now and see if we can find it so so I'm grabbing a little bit of juice, trying to not overcap my uh, crucible juice as well at the same time. So I'm looking here, looking here. There is still no minimap icon, no minimap icon, still no minimap icon, still no minimap icon, still no icon. So it feels like maybe it's somewhere inside or higher to the right. Let's see. Let's see if I can check the right side. Grabbing a little bit more juice. This should put me past the half. Uh, halfway point maybe so that I can actually shift this thing is tanky leeches live that's why okay I'm letting it leech apparently let's check in the boss arena I'm gonna quickly shift and it's not here so I'm immediately shifting out gonna kill the boss actually there are two bosses here they're very tanky so they resist chaos of extra life on them plus maven and this guy is somehow refusing to come and stack with the other guy. Gonna make sure to curse him. They're pretty much doing nothing, so not very challenging fight. Somehow I'm ignited, oh it's the Maven Ball. This guy is just basically stuck here, Maven is doing stuff. Okay, we make sure to clear this. We're full juice and looks like the boss is actually gonna be in the other cave. So let's see if we can go there. Let me jump down and then, oh, this is closed. Okay, let me open the door doors first. Let's shift and there she is. There we go, we got a boss here. Oh my God, I almost got murdered here because I'm taking double damage already. So let's make sure that we kill this guy. It's pretty tanky, resists chaos, of course. Someone is spamming for trades at the same time. Uh, I gotta make sure that I refresh my uh, mana flask because without that mana flask, I won't be able to do much to this guy. Trying to keep my totems up. Totems are dead, my flasks are gone. So let's refresh the flasks. The boss is following me, so that's actually pretty nice. Not really taking much damage, even though I'm shocked. Okay, let me pop the flask again. Oh, now I'm taking damage, whatever the fuck that attack was. Hard to see anything because I'm playing Toxic Rain, which is uh, spamming a lot of visual stuff around me. Okay, can I kill these guys? Okay, come back to the boss. Oh, I actually shifted, okay. We'll be able to clear this, get more juice and shift back to the boss. No problem. Hopefully she didn't heal too much. Okay, let's see now, shifting. Okay, still the same health. So you can, if you need to run out, you can basically shift back to her. Yeah, she's doing like a snipe move where she like follows you. And then you have to basically, oh, that was uh, some lightning damage naturally because she's doing like lightning bolts around, right? Almost there. I refreshed uh, my uh, flask charges, so that's good. Dodge this attack, dodge this one, and she's dead. In terms of the loot, she drops a lot of the, a lot of the uh, crangled things. Like she drops a lot of the scourged items, but I have them hidden on my filter. Let me see if I can maybe show you a uh, different filter. Different filter would show all of that. Oh, I canceled that by accident. Okay, so that's what she drops. She drops a bunch of that, and then she drops a bunch of these. Uh, 
bunch of these currency, right? So Tainted Fusings, which are really good. Tainted Blacksmith, Chromatic, all of that stuff. She gives a lot of XP, apparently. Uh, and then some just regular stuff and uniques. Are these uniques? Oh, she oh, oh she also drops Crangled uniques. So that's one good thing that, she, that actually these bosses do. You can get uniques that have like multiple uh, beneficial and detrimental modifiers on them. So that's basically just a quick video on how to find these bosses, how to look for them so that hopefully you won't miss out on uh, the loot that they give. This is mostly just garbage, but the fact that they give a bunch of these tainted currencies is very nice, uh, plus a chance for the uniques. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.